What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction. In this we have the shocking truth about India's most advanced missile, Brahmos. Before we dive into this, if you guys happen to enjoy, please, please, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Uh, also give the video a thumbs up and if you'd like to support the channel by becoming a member, all you gotta do is hit that join button, get them exclusive benefits. Let's get to it. India's hypersonic ambitions are about to take flight. With Russia's recent Zircon missile test, the world is once again reminded of the unstoppable pace of missile technology. This, I just imagine one of those coming for me, bro. That's like terrifying. Like, that's terrifying. But for India, this is more than just global news. It's a signpost towards the future of the Brahmos 2. Today, we take a first look at the Brahmos 2 hypersonic cruise missile, its key features, and why the world is watching so closely. Brahmos version Brahmos. My, it's over twice as fast. Oh my god. Twice as fast is insane. The Brahmos missile is already the world's fastest supersonic cruise missile, cruising yeah. at Mark III. But its successor, Brahmos II, promises to be nearly twice as fast, reaching speeds of Mark VI to Mark VIII. Bro. Developed jointly by oh, India. Like how fast? So they already have the fastest cruise missile. That's what Mark III, fastest cruise missile. And they are about to, at the very least, Double it in speed could go to Mach 8, which is insane. But the very least, they are going to double. Like that's crazy. What? No. Nah. Here's DRDO and Russia's NPO Machinostroenia. This Jeez. missile takes heavy inspiration from Russia's Zircon hypersonic system. The Zircon or 3M22 Zircon can strike targets 1,000 kilometers away at Mach 8, making it nearly impossible to intercept. Its secret? A plasma cloud that shields it from radar detection. So is this something right now that Russia has in, is, is in the works? Like they're developing? It's not something they already have because they said the Brahmos is the fastest cruise missile. So I assume this is something that Russia is developing, which it looks to be on par with India's, but it, it seems, looks like it'll go a little bit further. I think India's was 800 kilometers. <laughs> so what makes Brahmos 2 different? Speed, projected Mark 68, putting it among the fastest in the world. Oh, it's fairly a thousand. Okay. Initially, 600 kilometers, but upgrades may extend it to 1,000 kilometers. Technology uses advanced scramjet propulsion. Recently tested by DRDO for over 1,000 seconds, beating the U.S. waiver rider record. Stealth, radar-defying plasma cloud technology. Flexibility, capable of carrying conventional and potentially nuclear warheads. This missile is not just about raw power. It's about precision at impossible speeds. <laughs> Hypersonic missiles are changing modern warfare. Yeah, they are. Their speed and maneuverability make traditional air defense systems nearly useless. That's a modern warfare just absolutely getting insane to me. Like the capabilities, the technologies, everything. It's just oh, as a, as a human race, I feel like. We're creating and progressing so freaking quickly when it comes to technology. It's, we're at an insane pace right now. And like literally sky's the limit on, on what humanity will be capable of, whether that be negative or positive. The sky will be the limit. 
Analysts warn, even America's advanced THAAD system could only protect small areas and defending entire nations would be unaffordable. That That's why sense. countries like Russia, China and now India are racing ahead in hypersonic technology. For India, BrahMos-2 isn't just a weapon. It's a strategic equalizer against rivals like China, which already fields its DF-17 hypersonic missile. Aircraft carriers, symbols of naval dominance, may also be their own weakness. Oh. Russia's Zirkin can reportedly sink even the US's most advanced carriers with just a few hits. With China building multiple carriers and expanding its navy, India's BrahMos Milakshar could serve as the ultimate counter in the Indian Ocean region. The message is clear. Carriers are no longer untouchable. How does BrahMos 2 stack up? Against China's DF-17, BrahMos 2 will be faster, but DF-17 already has deployment advantage. Against Russia's Zircon, Similar design routes, but BrahMos-2 aims for indigenous scramjet tech okay. against the US. America is still developing hypersonic prototypes like ARRW, but lacks an operational system. For India, mastering this technology means not just self-reliance, but also defense exports, boosting mm. global influence. Originally yeah. scheduled for testing in 2020, the BrahMos Titan faced delays. Now, experts suggest test flights could begin around 2025-2026 with operational deployment by 2028. In parallel, DRDO's STAR missile project is sharpening India's hypersonic training and testing ecosystem, yeah. laying the foundation for BrahMos Tsako's eventual success. BrahMos 2 is more than a missile. It's a symbol of India's rise as a defense innovator. In a region where China is expanding its naval presence and Pakistan is upgrading its arsenal, BrahMos-2 offers a powerful deterrent. It fulfills the dream of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who envisioned India as a global leader in hypersonic technology. The BrahMos Mewas High hypersonic cruise missile could redefine modern warfare. At Mark 8, it can strike before enemies even realize they've been targeted. As India moves closer to testing and deployment, the world is watching closely. This is going to be insane. Will BrahMos 2 tilt the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific? Mm. Only time will tell. What do y'all think? I think this is going to be absolutely freaking insane. Uh, this BrahMos 2, its capabilities are actually like ridiculously insane. I don't know what China's capabilities are. Um, it sounds like theirs is already. And they're already able to use it at this moment. And where US still in progress, Russia's, I guess, still in progress. And Russia's, it looked like Russia's gonna be like the most dangerous in a sense. But this Brahmos 2 is definitely, I think it definitely shifts power and kind of shows the world what India's capable of. I think they kind of did that against Pakistan. But as they continue to progress and continue to have more military budget and spending and it's just going to be insane what comes out of India. But one thing is certain. The era of hypersonic weapons is here. And India is determined not to be left behind. Oh, The staggering reach of 100 million. Okay, I guess that's it on the subject. Um, I absolutely think um, India's definitely not going to be left behind. India's coming right now. I think the fourth largest economy in the world soon will become the third. Um, where the more money that's circulating in the economy, the more they're going to have to spend on military and other things. And as you see the progression and development in India, you can see them shaping to be one of the superpowers in this world. Um, and so. I think the world better be prepared for, for the shift. And I think the shift is already happening. So um, everybody should already be getting ready. That's all we have. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Check out the next. I'll see y'all next.